good morning everybody welcome to episode 100 so season two episode 100 200 and what 66 left to go i was just thinking today so this is my 465th vlog how crazy is that 465 days i have uh, put a vlog up that to me seems pretty insane the fact that you're still here watching after 465 is probably even crazier but, but i thank you and i appreciate it anyway another work day we just got to get everything knocked out before we head off to arkansas for a month so not in a whole lot of exciting stuff going on other than you know we just launched um the wrecked rider fund we just launched the support a biker and uh, we're just trying to get everything lined out there before we hit the road so uh, thank you guys as always for all your support thank you for sharing our mission and uh, letting everybody else know about it that truly truly helps us which allows us to help many more people so thank you thank you it's time for some coffee Whew. all right guys that is it the end of another day, another full day. We just came back from the eye doctor for Mama Badger. She's getting new contacts because she always carries a, a spare set of contacts with her on the road just because you just never know what's going to happen. You're going to lose one, tear one, something's going to happen. She carries her glasses too, but we always take a spare, a spare pair. I'll spit that out eventually of contacts. So we had to go to the eye doctor so she could get her contacts ready for the trip next week. So we got that done. And uh, today, as I said earlier, today is my 100th video for this year's daily vlog. And I made a post today and basically said, you know, to me, I'm more impressed when I look at a motorcycle and I see that it's got a lot of miles on it more so than I'm impressed with, I spent a hundred grand on a bike. Now, if you've got a hundred grand and you want to spend a hundred grand on a bike, more power to you. I'm sure it'll be an awesome bike, but this is for me. And for me, um, I don't put a high value in show bikes. I just don't. Um, I go to a lot of shows. Unfortunately, they all always seem to be the exact same bikes in every show. Um, and, you know, they build it and they take it to every show. And so then you've seen it once, you've seen it a hundred times. <sighs> Was it worth a hundred grand? Well, maybe for the person that built it, especially if they're like selling parts and stuff like that. But you guys remember the chopper craze? Um, I missed the chopper grades, but that's a whole nother video. But you guys remember Orange County Choppers and West Coast Choppers and Choppers Inc. And um, who else was there? There's a whole bunch, right? Indian Larry. There was just a whole slew of guys that were building $100,000 bikes, right? Um, some of those bikes, like you can see, is it Bikes and Beards? I think they went and bought a couple of old um, Orange County chopper bikes, but you know, there were the Borgettes, uh, but all of these bikes now, like pennies on the dollar, under 10 grand for these bikes that were 60, 70, 80, a hundred thousand dollars when they were built, um, the bottom fell out. The value is gone. So now it's what big wheel baggers and I now we're starting to transition into performance baggers. At least that's what I see. What do you guys think? So now we've got all these big wheel baggers, right? That have these huge stereos on them, paint jobs, stretched fenders, big front tire, uh, and uh, the air ride, the whole nine yards, right? And they drive them into their trailer and they drive them to bike week and then they unload them and they ride them around town and they take them to the shows and then they put them back on the trailer and they take them back home. And uh, I mean, if you're into the bike show scene, then, then I mean, I'm sure that's fine. But for me, the joy of owning a bike is not to show someone else my bike, even though I like to keep them clean and nice. So when you do look at them, they don't look horrible. Um, for me, it's riding the bike, right? So that's why I made that video and said 100,000 miles impresses me more than $100,000 invested because the 100,000 mile bikes, 
they all have stories, right? I mean, if you talk to the person that put 100,000 miles on their bike, they are going to have the best stories of how they put the miles on, where they went, what they saw, whether they ran into issues they've had. I mean, I have tons of story for, stories for Silver. Mama's got stories for her bike. Um, and you get those stories, like I said, from traveling on them and riding them. And anyway, since it was my hundredth, I thought well, that's kind of an interesting topic for a video. Um, 100K or $100,000. What about you? What is more impressive to you when you're talking to somebody that says, look at this bike, I've got $100,000 into it. Or you've got somebody like this that says, look at this bike, I got 100,000 miles on it. This one's 165,000, so I'm almost to 200,000. Um, and I can tell you all the stories. Like I can tell you about running into a tornado leaving Iowa. Um, I can tell you about it snowing on us a couple years ago um, when we were headed to Arkansas. I can tell you about Sturgis this year where it rained and rained and rained and the wind hit me so hard it blew me clean across the road. Um, I can tell you all of those stories from um, riding this bike all over the country. And uh, at the end of all of it, right those are the stories that i'm going to remember those are the stories i'm going to share and those are the stories that i'm going to cherish so what's that saying the miles um, provide the memories at least that's how i feel about it the more miles the more memories and uh you know that's one thing nobody can ever take away from you are those memories Anywho, that is it. That is the end of episode 100. And uh, man, we're really close to, I think, five days and we'll be on the road. And uh, these daily vlogs will get a lot more interesting for sure. Anywho, I'm off of here. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.